Uh, my name is Stephen Sack. I'm the director of the Origin Centre at Wits University. And I'm standing looking at this flying reptile and uh, appreciating the way in which it has been made. And I think what's interesting for me is in replicating and manufacturing these now extinct creatures and animals and flying reptiles, we have to find materials, we have to use materials that obviously attempt to equate what the reptile actually would have looked like. And the research that is now available around the colours of feathers is much more advanced than it used to be. And we know in broad terms what the colour of such a flying reptile would be. But in reproducing them, there are various materials that one can use. And one can use uh, hard materials uh, such as synthetics, the new synthetic plastics, and one can work with artists to then paint the object. But this particular approach of using welded steel and fabricating um, the flying reptile from steel, I think, is particularly effective. And the reason why is because as an, as a, an onlooker, you want the reptile to be animated, to have a life, to um, create a, a kind of a dramatic impression. And I think this use of steel uh, and the shiny surface against the welded areas, which are the dark sur uh, surfaces, really help to animate this flying reptile and bring it to life for us. So um, I really commend the work um, of the artist in the way that she has achieved this. The ability to stabilize the surface so that we can put these outdoors without them uh, uh, beginning to rust, we had to use the kind of the, the spray technologies that are used in the motor industry in order to put on a surface um, so that uh, we can control the rust. But in the meantime, this kind of an object inside the museum um, is inspired and, and a beautiful achievement. Thanks.